Hey everyone, my name is Nate and I'm a technical writer at Move. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a short walkthrough of our open source ACH projects API. This is going to be the first of two API videos. And in this one, I'm going to cover some of the more basic operations, like how to create, fetch, and validate files. And in the next one, I'll go over some more advanced things, like how to append batches and segment files. So a couple assumptions that I'm going to make are that you have Docker installed on your system and also curl because we're going to be using the command line a lot. And if you want to check out this full API documentation on screen right now, there's going to be a link to that in the description below. So if you're not already familiar with ACH, it's an electronic bank to bank payment system in the US and it's used for a ton of different transaction types like direct deposits, bill payments, web payments, and a lot more. And our API lets you perform various operations on ACH files. So you can see a full list of operations on the left hand side. And I'm going to cover most of these in these videos. So we can switch over to a terminal now. And the first thing that we want to do is pull and run the Docker image. So we can actually go to the project repo. And in our readme, we have a Docker section. So this is going to have some quick start info. And we can scroll to it. So we can just copy and paste these first two lines. So this first one is going to pull the image and then we can run it. So it's going to be running on port 8080 and then we have some Prometheus admin metrics at 9090. So it looks like it's running fine. And the first thing that I like to do is ping it. So we can do curl localhost 8080 and then ping. And since we get Pong, we know everything is working okay. We can also check to see if there's any files up. And as you can see, it's empty. And this is what we would expect since we just started. So you might notice that right now I'm in the test data directory. And this is for our ACH project. And here we have a lot of sample files. So we can take a look at this web debit ACH file. And this is a plain text raw file. We can try to create this file on the server by typing in curl xpost data binary and then our file path is going to be web debit ach since we're in the directory and then lastly localhost 8080 and our endpoint is files create we get back this unique file id and basically whenever you create a file on the server it's going to give us back a unique id and we can use this ID to identify the file if we want to fetch it, for example. We can also open up a browser tab. And here, if we check out our files, you can see what we just uploaded. Let's actually take this and put it in a JSON formatter. And that's going to make it a lot easier to see what's going on. So on this right-hand side, this is our file. And this is the ID I just mentioned. And it's a pretty standard ACH file. We have our file header and multiple batches, multiple entries, and then finished off by our controls. Now, I already know that this is a valid file, but we can test out the validate function on it. So go back to the terminal, and if we type in our validate endpoint, we can now copy in this unique file ID, and then follow that up with validate, and that's going to tell us that we have no errors and our file is valid. Now I don't want to just show you that, I want to show you also an invalid file. So let's create one. And off the top of my head I know that we have a POS invalid entry detail example. And it's going to create the file, but it's also going to tell us that there's some errors. Now if we run validate on that file and copy in its ID, it is going to say that we have an invalid ACH file. So it looks like our validate function is working properly. And one more thing we can do is fetch the file. So of course you notice that it's now a JSON file format, but we can either fetch it as JSON or in the plain text ACH file format. What we can type in is curl localhost 8080 and then files and our file ID so let's take this one, the valid file, paste that in, and this is our JSON format. 
we can take the same thing, add contents to the end, and now we're going to get the plain text format. And then one more thing that I want to show you is that you can simply type in batches instead of contents, and that's going to give you just the batch info. Alright, so that's all I'm going to cover for part one of these API tutorials. In the next one, I'll cover some of the more advanced operations. But for now, if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. And you can also ask anything in our Slack channel. That's going to be in the description too. Thanks for checking out Move and our ACH project, and I'll see you in part two.